<laughs> well, that escalated quickly, didn't it? Fucking hell. It's deep as fuck, man. Let's go to the gym anyway. I left the car when I left the car running for. Now that's a car in a car you get into. Oh, yes. I can only start the car and then. No, it's good about Fords. They have the heated windscreen and you can just turn the heated windscreen on and then whoop whoop. Whoop whoop. Takes all the snow away. Brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. So that was 147.5 kg on that bar when I did that squat for four reps. My all time PB is 155 kilos for one rep. I reckon my PB's more now, swear to God, mate. So it turns out that this program is working. 147 kilos and it felt it felt relatively light. I'm not gonna turn around and bullshit the fuck out of here and say oh 147.5 kilos and felt fucking so light mate and I fucking No it was fucking heavy mate but it fucking felt like it moved in the right way. If you, does that make sense? If you lift if you if you train religiously, you'll know what I mean. This the whole squat just felt it just felt good mate. So I reckon my PB is more than 155 kg now. Anyway, enough of the bullshit. Me and Trill are going to Tesco's. Is it me? Is it just me? Or does anyone else just love, I'm actually being serious here, love going clo uh, fucking food shopping. I love it. It's one of my favorite pastimes. It's pretty sad, isn't it? But I genuinely love, love going to Tesco's. Cause you just don't know. What new stuff's in and stuff, you don't know what's on offer and all, and it's just fantastic! Mmm, so dry and all! <laughs> Shit, the beat! You wouldn't think that it was snowing this morning. Look, this is genuine. It's genuinely the same day. I'm not even lying. Tell you why would I lie? Tell you like, it's not making. We're not making friends. But look, not a drip of snow there, mate. What the fuck's going on? Oh, this seat is fucking. Soaking. Jesus Christ. Oh, so wet and all. Fucking piss wrapped for you, mate. So, what's happening today? Started off bloody fantastic, bloody wonderful. Then I got my P45 back from the agency. Dated, dated the 27th of the first 2020. So they were trying to say that I left the agency on the 21st of January this year. Bollocks, man, utter bollocks. So I had to ring the Emmons back and say, yo, we need to change this fucking date here. Because I quite clearly didn't leave you at the end of fucking January. And you've got me down as P45, 27th of January. Oh, it's right now. Oh, it's going to be from your last pay in, in, in November. Fuck. Fucking hell. Quite a difference there, isn't there? From the start of November to the end of January. So you knew about it. Dickheads, man. Everyone, it's totally what's this world. You need to fucking look after number one. Because every single fucker is out the fucking... Fuck you clean over me. And that's a fucking fact. Tate's Avenue, here we come. Ah! 
Where do you think I am? Titanic quarter. You can get fucked. Do you think I'm standing down there at that water? It's fucking for a reason, mate. Holy my Jesus! Oh, my hands. <laughs> so cold! We still recording? Oh, we're recording. Battery's on 3%. Get the fuck out of here. Three. Look at that fucking lighting. No, that's, that's like. It's like them ring lights. Shirelle's got one of them ring lights in their makeup room. I should use it more often. Gives you such a nice, nice jolly. We're finished. 20 past 12 at night. I'm starving. Shirelle's made burgers for dinner. I'll be having them in about 45 minutes. Should we go? Let's go. So this time next week, me, Sherelle and Jade will already be in Spain. Whew, fuck me, that's one quick. Remember when we booked it? What vlog was that I booked it in? Fuck, feels like vlog one. Booked it a long time ago. I can't believe it's like a week away. Shit, I have nothing in. Did you see the smash in the last clip? No, you can take away from that. Pay more attention on the road, people. Get off your mobile phones. And be more aware of your surroundings when you're fucking driving your car. Do you know what I mean? And if we all did that, then there wouldn't be no fucking crashes. Do you know what the main cause of crashes is, in my opinion? People's patience. People are just always in a rush, mate. Like, you're not, you're only going to get your destination maximum five minutes before your actual time you have to get there. I'd rather get there than not get there, so fucking so stop driving like dickheads, mate. It's fucking not difficult. Do you know what I mean? If the fucking speed limit's 30, do 30. If the speed limit's 50, do 50. If it's safe to do so, doesn't mean because you're driving the car you have to go fucking full pedal to the metal everywhere you go fucking get a grip see you tomorrow i'm having burgers